The adrenaline is unbelievable and it's very tough to describe the feeling that runs through your body when you, you, can, you can see 50 yards from before the line, you know that you've got it in the bag. It's overwhelming, I'd say. I suppose it's a sense of uh, fulfilment. We've been lucky enough that we got quite used to it and, you know, you want more and more. It's all about winners, yeah, of course. Well, my father was a jockey. He was, he was Scottish and served his apprenticeship in England, but it, he then rode in Norway and Scandinavia, really, and I grew up in Norway. And, and obviously, I then started with ponies from, from a relatively young age, and uh, I moved to England when I was 16 and started my apprenticeship. Similar to William, my mother was a, a trainer for, for a few years, and um, you know it was all I wanted to do from around the age of, I'd say, six, seven. Everybody knows the dolphin. It's your dream as well, isn't it, when you're young, lad, to put on oh, the, yeah. the, you know, the royal blue, blue silks of Godolphin. It is, you know, when you have your first ride for Godolphin, it's pretty special. We know the horses individually from sitting on them at home, and uh, even, you know, a lot of the horses that come out here, are, we've ridden in races in England. We know them quite well, and obviously the, each trainer, Charlie and Saeed, they know their horses, so you, you kind of, you put your ideas together and come up with a plan and plan A, B, C and D and E. <laughs> Hopefully one of them will work out. So you always have a plan before you go out there, but that might change in a, in a split second. And um, you just do what feels right. And uh, that's experience and, uh, and feel, I guess. You can't really start giving um, give another lad's leeway so you know out on the track we're I wouldn't say enemies but you know we wouldn't we wouldn't give each other an inch would you? Well you know it, you know we all want the same results and you don't get many dead heats in racing. Luckily obviously we're mates but uh, luckily we enjoy the same things like we go to the beach we have a good time keep fit in the gym but it's not difficult because you know Dubai there's, there's so much to do and uh, we, got, we don't get too much sunshine and beaches in England, so uh, we, we, we use that when we're over here. For a jockey, it's a perfect lifestyle. You know, you have the back home in England and you're working so hard every day. And um, when you get out here, it's not like you take your foot off the gas, but you just recharge the batteries. And usually a Thursday we come in and just try and relax and switch off a little bit. And then, you know, the racing starts in the evening, so get pumped up for that just beforehand. It's one of the, it would have to be one of the great race courses in the world, that's for sure. I mean, it's got a huge stand, obviously, and fantastic facilities for, for the public and jockeys and trainers, horses, owners. And, uh, and obviously, the, the racetrack itself is world class. Winning races anywhere is, is special, but especially at Maidan, you know, if it can be your first time here looking at the track and the, the stand, it can be a bit daunting. So when you do ride a few winners here, you really, you relax into it. Sheikh Mohammed and his family, they're very hands-on with horses and they've got great experience and uh, it's, it's a real passion. When you sit down to talk about horses, it, he kind of relaxes and really, he, he really is interested and his eyes light up and he's been doing it a long time, but the success has been, you know, unbelievable, you know, it's been mind-blowing. What else is better than this? Look around you. We're in a fantastic training complex. We're surrounded by top-class horses, top-class people. You know, we're in Dubai in the sunshine, you know. I'm living the dream. Similar to, I don't know, footballers, similar to yeah. Formula One drivers, similar to golfers, you know, we're, we're, we're getting, we're lucky enough to get paid to do something that, we're, that we would pretty much do for, for free, really. You know, our job now is, to, is just do our best for, for Godolphin get good results, get winners, and keep the ball rolling. Simple as that.